with all the Google Chrome extensions available. Ano kaya ang unang dapat i-download nating mga teachers para ma-improve ang ating online teaching this coming school year? Are you ready? Let's talk! Hello mga chocolates and if you're new to this channel, welcome to Chalk Talks. I am Chalk and Cabo and I am a teacher. This is episode 5 of the hashtag Teachers Helping Teachers series and I hope that if you're new to the channel, the list of all the other episodes are down in the description and right here. So you click that to watch the previous episodes. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng ating mga uploads in this series and in this channel. And one more thing, I have an Instagram account, a Facebook account, and a Twitter account. So you can follow me there, mag-comment po kayo at malay ninyo kayong susunod na shoutout sa ating mga susunod na mga videos. So tama na ang promotion, mag-usap na po tayo. Ano ang mga Google extensions na gagamitin natin? Ang unang tanong niyo siguro, bakit Google extensions lang, Chok? Well, dear teachers, for this school year, our school decided to use Google Suite for Education. And I will be sharing to you kung ano mga ginagamit ko or gagamitin ko sa pagpasok ng pasokan na ito. So ang unang kailangan gawin ay gumamit ng Google for Education account. Pero kung wala, you can still access all these extensions and you can still use the Google Classroom kahit na regular Gmail account lang ang gagamitin. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is to register or to log in to Google using your Gmail account. And once you are registered already, pwedeng pwedeng nyo nang gawin at i-download ang lahat ng mga extensions na i-share ko sa inyo. Are you ready? Let's go to my desktop. So, hello everyone. Ngayon, nandito tayo sa aking desktop. Welcome. So, ang unang natin gagawin is for you to go to your Google Chrome browser. Okay? So, once you open this, karang nilipat lang ng pwesto para mas masaya. So, unang-una sa lahat, ang kailangan nyo gawin is mag-register or mag-login using your Google account or your Gmail. In our case, we're using a Google Education account. Pero kung wala, your regular Gmail account can work. So, dito po sa taas, makikita ninyo ang lahat ng aking mga Chrome extensions. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga ginagamit ko. Siguro ang unang concern ninyo ay, Chok, ano yung ginagamit mo ngayon? Opo, we are using at the moment yung ating screen recording app or extension which is the Loom. That's L-O-O-M. Sana lang mag -load. Pero kung hindi nyo po, hindi ba mag-load, yan gawin natin. So, paano ba kumuha ng mga extensions? Okay? Una ay, you go to Google Chrome Extensions. I-search nyo po yan. And then, makikita nyo itong Google Chrome Web Store Extensions. Okay? Dito tayo pupunta. And ma-direct kayo sa site na ito. And, dear teachers, if you are going to look at the, the site, Sobrang mo overwhelm po kayo sa dami ng mga um, apps and uh, extensions na pwede nyo mailagay sa inyong browser na magagamit nyo in doing your classes. So, so sa inyong extensions, you just look for L-O-O-M. Okay? Loom. Ito po yan. Loom for Chrome. So, you just have to download this. And then, ang gagawin nyo lang po, pag na-download nyo na, pupunta yan dito, isa sa mga yan. Ito po yung logo niya. Okay? So, makita nyo. Drawing natin para mas masaya. Okay? Yan. Pag may loom na po kayo, nakikita nyo nangyayari ngayon. So, you can uh, encircle or change. So, ito po. <laughs> so, so, mali, no? <laughs> Basta yung, yung logo na yan, okay? Yung nakikita nyo na nandiyan. Ito po yung ginagamit natin ngayon. We call this Loom. So, you can record this. And ang kagandahan dito, kung meron kayong education account sa Google, um, unlimited po siya. Ma-upgrade po ang inyong account. 
Pero kung hindi naman, I suggest that you limit your recording up to 6 minutes or less. Mga 5 minutes. Huwag masyadong mahaba. Kailangan yung hati-hatiin yung lesson nyo kasi mahirap po yan. Okay, let's proceed to the next extension. Okay? The next extension that I want to share with you, dear teachers, is this. Ito po. Dual less ang tawag. So, anong ginagawa ng dual less? Search natin siya, ha? Dual less, double L. Yeah. So, ang ginagawa po ni dual less, ladies and gentlemen, mga fellow teachers, ayan. Pwede niyang gatiin yung inyong laptop sa dalawang screen. So, halimbawa, click niyo po yung dual less niyo pag na-install na. So, yung pwedeng mas maliit, mas malaki, or mas ganyan, or pantay. It's really up to you. Pwede ding vertical kung mas sanay ka ng ganyan. Anong kagandahan ng app na ito or ng extension na ito? This will give you a better view of your desktop na hindi kayo nagpapalit-palit ng, alam nyo, hindi ba, i-minimize ninyo, lalakihan ninyo. So, dalawa nyo siya makikita. So, ngayon naman po, ang susunod natin ay tinatawag ko, ay tinatawag nilang web paint. Ano yung web paint teachers? So, usok muna tayo dito. So, ang web paint is, halimbawa, you'll go to a Pakita ko sa inyo yung tura pala. Sorry. Web paint. Eto, mga, sobrang may enjoy nyo to. Kasi ang ginagawa nito, yan, paint tools, web paint. So, ang ginagawa niya po ay, when you go to a particular website, yung hunyari, ito po, lumang-lumang blogspot ni Cho. So, ang ginagawa po ni web paint ay, ito po yung icon niya. Pag kinlik niyo po yan, so, ipat lang tayo ng konti. So, meron po yan pwedeng screenshot or lala, pwede mong lagyan ng box. Halimbawa, you're discussing a particular lesson or you're using a website and you will tell your students na, Okay guys, we are now in this website na napakagandang basahin. So, pwede mong palitan yung kulay kung gusto mo. Tapos, ang gagawin mo lang ay pwede mong i-box yung title or yung buong article if you want. Okay, pwede ganun. Okay, pwede mo rin... Uh, Halimbawa, ayaw makita na ibang part. Pwede mong fill yan para ito lang ang makikita nila or something. Nakakuha niyo po ba? So, ang ganda nito kasi you can um, be interactive while browsing a website for your students. So, yun po ang gagandahan ni um, web paint. Okay. The next app is... nag enjoy ba kayo? Okay pa kayo dyan? Can you please like this video if you're enjoying it? The next one is what we call Mercury Reader. This one, dear teachers, especially for um, grade school teachers, kahit nga high school students, no? Uh, ang kagandahan ni Mercury Reader, ito po yan, pag dinownload nyo, ito yung tura, screenshot nyo lang if you want. So, ang ginagawa po nito, dear teachers, is this. So, babalik kayo sa website na gusto ninyo. So, the next app that we will use is Mercury Reader. Nakita nyo na kung paano yung install. So, ang itsura po ng icon niya is this. Para po siyang spaceship. Hindi siya parang spaceship. Spaceship siya. So, when you go to a website na, di ba, madaming ads or madaming masyadong pictures at medyo nahihirapan kayo para basahin ng mga bata kasi nililit ng text, ang gagawin ni Mercury Reader, panoorin nyo po ito, ay let's render it. Yan ang gagawin niya. Gagawin niyang napakalinis na puro text lang ang inyong um, website na binabasa. So again, ang ginagawa niyan ay mas malinaw, namabasa naman, hindi destructive, di ba? If you have a Kindle account, you can also send it in your Kindle account para ma-access ninyo using your Kindle. So, yan ang nangyayari. So after the Mercury Reader, the next app that I want to show you is what we call the Google Calendar. So, Aside from the app na pwede nyong i-download on your phone or sa inyong sariling Google account, pwede kayo maglagay ng extension na calendar. Para halimbawa, when, when you're online, you can easily see and check yung inyong schedule. So, like in my case, I have a schedule on June 5, and June, uh, sorry, in June, on June 6, that's tomorrow, and then yung mga schedule na mga dapat mong gawin. Okay? So, yan. Okay po? So, yan ang Google Calendar naman. So, dito nyo rin hahanapin yan. So, Google Calendar. 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 Yan. Ito po siya. Ay, sorry. Ito po yung ginagamit ko. Google Calendar. Ayan. 
para extension lang siya, andito siya. So, madali nyo makikita yung mga schedules ninyo, di ba? Ang galing. So, when you click that, it will direct you to your calendar mismo. Para kung siya makita yung details, etc. Mas madali. Okay? Easy access. Next is, small PDF. Ano naman yung small PDF? So, for example, ang gagawin nyo lang is, click this icon, yan, itsura niya, small PDF po yung pangalan ng extension. You can compress the document, convert a document, or yung PDF to PPT, or PowerPoint to PDF, JPEG to PDF, etc. Lahat ng klase ng conversion, pwede nyong ilagay dito. Halimbawa po, mga kaibigan, there's a PowerPoint that you want to convert as PDF, as handouts for your students. All you need to do is to click this, PD, PowerPoint to PDF, and then you will be directed to this site. Ang gagawin nyo lang is to drag the file here. Okay? So, pwede yan directly from Google Drive, sabi niya. Do I need to install it? Mamaya na lang po. Pero, ang ginagawa ko, idadrag ko dito yung file mismo. So, i-minimize mo ng konti ito. And then, you go and check for a PowerPoint presentation or a document halimbawa o ano man yung nilagay mo. Halimbawa, nga. So, the drag mo lang na ganun, yung PowerPoint mo. Tapos, i-convert niya na and you can download it. Very easy. So, that's small PDF. So, there you go, dear teachers. Kamusta po ba ang experience? I just hope that you continue to watch our videos dahil marami pa tayo mga susunod na uploads and you comment down below ano po ang gusto nyo makita sa channel na to particularly sa Teachers Helping Teachers series natin and syempre um, gusto ko din mag-comment kayo ano yung mga ginagamit nyo mga apps at mga Google Chrome extensions comment down below okay now before we end with the video eto na po ang ating mga shout out iisa-isahin natin First, I would like to say thank you to all those teachers who are watching Ten Bayan on Facebook of the Teacher Education Network. Special shout out also to all the teachers of Tagbilaran and the province of Bohol, DepEd. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Thank you for watching. Alam ko you're sharing all our videos to your fellow teachers in your region. So thank you po sa inyong lahat. One big shout out also to Doc Marlu of Hillcrest School. Thank you for sharing our videos to your teachers and even to your parents. Maraming salamat po! And next, I would like to make this shout out for my classmate in La Salle, Oyo Hobilia, sir of DLSUD High School. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, sir. Let me read the names of the school na shinare mo ang ating mga teachers helping teacher series. Starting off with Angels Institute of Learning. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Hello to all the teachers in this school. Next is Anjali Day School of Mandaluyong. Maraming maraming salamat din po for watching our videos. And sa aming kapitbahay, Miraculous Medal School in Muntinlupa. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat for watching our videos. And syempre, special na special na shoutout ang ibibigay ko sa aking mga co-teachers sa Paris Southridge School in Alabang. Maraming maraming salamat po for watching and for supporting your fellow teacher. This is how we do teachers helping teachers. So maraming maraming salamat po. Just like what we always say, stay home, stay safe, and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye! With all the Google app. Hmm? You can still use the Google Class Google. And if you're new to the channel, I suggest that you watch our previous episodes and I will link and I will put and I will put and I will put <laughs>